Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on March 14th, 2025. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Do, giving you our space weather update, earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. Always starting out here, looking at our sun for the day, as we do have multiple sunspot regions and multiple C-class solar flares to report the last couple days, and as well, Earth-facing coronal hole, which is right here, the big blackened region, the southern hemisphere. Active sunspot regions turning into view, and as well, Earth-facing. Stay tuned. We'll keep you updated on what's happening with our sun. Have a quick look here at multispectrum. Pointing out the last 48 hours of events, as we've seen some plasma filaments now shift to the northern hemisphere, and as well, south of the equator, on the right side, outgoing. We saw a couple plasma tornadoes last week on this region here, turning into view. Now we've got one snaking up in the north polar region. And it looks like a very active sunspot regions turning into view multiple sunspots so stay tuned it's going to be a wild week heading back into spring as we are about well literally six days away from daily events worldwide's birthday and as well spring and currently our solar winds are coming in at 538 kilometers per second we are currently under a G2, moderate geomagnetic storm as well. High latitude power systems may experience voltage alarms. Looking at the solar X-ray flux, as you can see, it's been in the C range for the last two days. And now starting to come down. Proton flux is low. Geomagnetic activity was at a KP6 early this morning when our solar winds were coming in over 600 kilometers per second. But before that, a steady KP5 index with the past 24 hours. And this is a look at our sunspot regions for today. 4019 and as well 4028, both complex sunspot regions. And as well sunspot regions 4025 and 4022 are interacting. Have a quick look at the sunspot regions in motion. As the equatorial sunspot region right here grew pretty quickly, and then it same did this one. Solar cycle 25, a solar maximum lasting for up, upwards of 11 years, has already peaked. But yet we've, we're seeing some peaking sunspot activity, peaking around the corner here, cresting into view. Stay tuned to Daily Events Worldwide. We will keep you updated on the most recent events. And here is a look at Lasco 3, showing the wide spectrum. This is showing the last 20 or 48 hours. No major coronal mass ejections headed our way, and no major solar flares to speak of. Carrying on here, let's get to earthquakes past 24 hours, as it's been busy as well. Let's put the magnitude on here. Notable 4.0 and as well a 5.0 magnitude earthquake, eastern shoreline of northern Italy, as well as Greece seeing some activity come back to the region. India with a sizable 4.3 and as well a 5.0 yesterday. Myanmar with a 4.2. Philippines has been pretty active as well, 5.4. And as well a 5.8. Banda Sea, sizable earthquakes in Banda Sea region, northern Philippines. And then we get to the Fiji region where we saw some very deep earthquakes today. Deepest being a 570 kilometer depth, but all four of the Fiji earthquakes here coming in over 250 kilometer depth. Notable earthquake here, 
northern Alaska. Don't normally report earthquakes there, but a 5.2. And as well, activity coming back to Kilauea. Sizable 3.4 and 2.5. Across the United States, largest being a 3.4 there. Just south of Los Angeles, California. And notable activity here, Puerto Rico. And as well, the Guatemala with a 4.4. And a couple deep earthquakes, northern Chile up into Peru. And that's the last 24 hours for earthquakes. Let's get a glance at the last seven days for shakers and movers around the world. As we're still going through an earthquake warning time, we have not seen the sizable 6.0 or greater, which I was expecting over the past two days. It's been pretty quiet. Earthquakes right now, USGS is reporting over 220 earthquakes past 24 hours. Largest the last seven days being that big 5.8 here, or sorry, 6.1 that hit Svalbard north of Iceland. And that's a look at the last seven days for Shakers and Movers. And thank you all so much for watching and tuning in today. And I, I apologize for the interruption in services, but we are here today and I'm grateful to have you aboard. USGS now is reporting 243 earthquakes past 24 hours. That has since gone up over the past little bit. They're piling up in California. Notable earthquake here, East Los Angeles, Tustin, California, North Tustin. We had a swarm at the geysers yesterday. That's still kind of going on. 63 earthquakes at the geysers today. Notable activity up into the Pacific Northwest as well. Mount St. Helens, Mount Rainier. Notable activity there. And as well, notable explosions in Princeton, Canada, most likely industry related, as there is quite a large quarry in the region, Princeton. That's the last 24 hours for earthquakes. Now let's have a look at world weather. Brought to you by windy.com. We're going to start out, of course, with the SO2 forecast for the last three days. This is brought to you by active and erupting volcanoes around the world. As we still have 77 active and erupting, stay tuned. The update is coming soon. With the most recent volcanic activity around the world. Giving you a glance here at the SO2 forecast, sulfur dioxide emissions for the next three days. As there's still quite a plume coming out of Kilauea, Mexico, and as well all through Kamchatka, and even Alaska through the Aleutian Islands. We're looking South Africa and Australia. Notable eruption and plume central regions of the Congo. as well notable plumes coming out of Vanuatu southern hemisphere still lots of sulfur dioxide emissions coming out of the Michael volcano which has been erupting all week long as you can see here spewing right out of that and has been for the past week and the SO2 just seems to linger around the southern hemisphere right now Maybe something else erupted in the Southern Hemisphere. I'm not sure because this is kind of new and would have came from the Erubus volcano. Not sure. But that's a look at our SO2 forecast. No major new volcanic eruptions to report today. Now let's get to weather here. World weather. And we're also, let's get the, uh, let's get the ice bars on here. Ice lines. There we go. Because we've got quite a system affecting us right now across the United States and heading up into 
Canada. Massive low pressure system here. As you can see, 988 millibars. That is a very strong deepening low pressure system. And wait until you see what it's kicking up out of Albuquerque, New Mexico, and Texas. This massive dust storm. Here's the center of the low right here. Let's get this into motion. Speed it up a little bit here. So the low encringes through Colorado here. And look at all the dust storm in the morning and throughout the day. A devastating situation across northern Texas. There's been multiple pileups and car wrecks due to zero visibility from this massive dust storm heading through Texas and as well Oklahoma. Let's get a closer look here at this intense dust storm that is sweeping across Texas and Oklahoma. Here is the center of the low. Start scooting across Texas and Colorado early this morning and look at all that. Boy, oh boy, this is going to be a mess of a system mixed with dust from Arizona. Albuquerque, New Mexico, Texas. This low pressure system is so deep, it's sweeping up everything from the surface and blowing it eastward. Now, this system is set to head right into Ontario over the next 24 to 36 hours. This is going to be a mess. Let's have a look here at the forecast models for this low pressure system. As by tomorrow morning, the low pressure system will be north towards the western side of Lake Superior. But strong bands of extreme weather and tornadic weather right from, well, I'd say eastern Texas straight up to Ontario, as we'll see some thunderstorms even through Ontario. But look at the extreme weather here. Very strong winds. Big high pressure ridge right here, tossing everything up as this low pressure system is spinning right into it. Long range forecast shows yet another low pressure system and an Alberta clipper, two of them moving in. And by the 20th springtime, we're going to have quite the outro to spring on the 20th. Big low pressure system here heading towards the Great Lakes and then impacting Northern Ontario and Quebec. And then yet another big system starts to impact the United States. And this one I forecasted to be a doozy here. This low pressure system, the 23rd, 24th, heading across Southeastern United States. It's going to be a big system, my friends and family. Heads up, stay safe. Thoughts and prayers going out to everybody who will be affected by this weekend's extreme weather event. Please don't forget to give a like and share this video today if you enjoyed all this information shared. I got one more thing to show you here. We'll carry on around the world. Overlooking Africa and Australia. We have a cyclone impacting southern Madagascar and as well lots of daily evaporation rains for South Africa. And then watch for stormy conditions all across northeastern regions of Australia. And then cyclone develops right here. Northwest Territories. Long range forecast shows that grinding along the coastline quite possibly a Category 3 or 4 cyclone impacting you and a pretty strong system affecting Queensland. Watch for extreme weather to outbreak there. Quick look here at forecast models for low pressure systems heading into the West Coast, Northern Pacific. Strong low pressure systems. High pressure ridge still pretty dominant across the equatorial region. Pretty warm around Hawaii. And then the high pressure ridge is very strong, blocking most systems 
until looks to be about the 27th or 28th where this big low pressure system starts to impact the west coast split and move eastward springs right around the corner my friends and family and thank you so much for watching tonight hope you enjoyed this update leave you here with a quick look at our upper level winds depicting our polar vortex as it was split it was about to split the last time i showed you and it has completely split now as you can see upper level winds here coming in 343 kilometers per hour over top the north pole right now and this is a look at our upper level winds brought to you by null school very strong high pressure ridge right here upper level high and southern hemisphere is already starting to pick up steam once these winds start to pick up their strength and velocity that's when we'll see winter start to encroach on the southern hemisphere again thank you so much for watching tonight's show hope you enjoyed the update it's been a little different production for the daily for the daily do but this is what i got for you and thanks for watching stay safe and healthy out there my friends stay aware and prepared stay young and have fun and get your daily do bye bye now